continuing story of Myrtle and Charlie. In our last episode, we met Myrtle and Charlie the ducks. Now Myrtle has a habit of laying her eggs in strange places, and Charlie, being the proud papa, chases away anything he thinks might disturb Myrtle, the eggs, or the nest. In this episode, we find that Myrtle is once again in a family way, and she's getting ready to nest. But she wasn't the only one. Their neighbors, the Jack Rabbits, have announced the birth of quintuplets. Meet Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, and Cicero. This is Cicero. Now, rumors going around the pond that Jack is not the father, and so Cicero has struck out on his own to find his real father. Good luck. It's a cruel world out there. This is Myrtle's new nest. She really didn't like us running her off it, so she sent out an SOS to you-know-who. And lo and behold, here he comes, lickety-split, ready to wreak havoc on anybody messing around with his wife. His warning was well taken. Will Myrtle and Charlie continue to live as normal adults? Will the pie get back to normal? Will Cicero find his real father and change his name? Will brothers and sisters really care? These questions and more will be answered in our next episode. I don't know. Maybe it's Myrtle and Charlie's love of life that makes their search for tomorrow seem worthwhile. But as the world turns, these two lovebirds probably think of us as beings from another world. By the way, I don't know if you could tell from the camera shots we were getting, but it looks like Myrtle and Charlie may be headed for a divorce. They both came over to protect the nest. Now, who gets custody of the kids, we were wondering? Well, Myrtle told us, they're all my children. Calvin Snead, Eyewitness News.